I sat down through the visualization process and I thought, what can I do? Help other people. I was training five <coughs> gentlemen. And I said to them, what we were earning, something like at that time was 18. Thousand, I think it was the national average. I said, if you're working with me, that's impossible. Just forget that. And they all, within two weeks, you won't believe this, moved away from that. It was fantastic. Yeah? So after a short period of time, those chaps, well, I think there was one woman, and you know, they all started to do pretty well. I said to them, I'm not sure, well, I said it to myself first of all, I'm not sure what I'm going to go into. All I did know, there was going to be some form of success. I said to these lads, if ever you see house for sale handwritten, please tell me. Out of the blue I had a call. Robert, there's a house for sale. I hope you don't mind if I sit down. Because one or two other things. <laughs> house for sale. I said, that's great. And what I did, I had some 50 pound notes. And whoever gave me one of those, I'd give one of those notes too. All right? And if you notice, I'm wearing these things deliberately because that's what I did. I said to them, we went down. I don't even know about this in Hong Kong. Yeah? But you do this, it's a very strange thing. Money attracts money. Wearing rings. If you rip this off, only the ladies can do it. Yeah? <laughs> I have chains around it. I don't even need them, but what happened is that money attracts money. You know? It's like good minds will attract other good minds. You know? Maybe that's why I was attracted to, 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 to run here. Anyway, cutting a long story short, this guy gave me this number. I would telephone. I said, hello, good evening. Sorry, it was an afternoon. Good, good afternoon. Uh, your house is up for sale. How much do you want for it? The lady said, oh, 32,000. I said, what are you talking about? And it was in, in the best of areas. I said, all right, uh, is the man there, please? No, he's at work. I said, when he comes home, tell him that I've got a, a bag of money and I'd like to buy his house. Later on, I got a call. Freighter, uh, I heard that you're interested in my house. I said, yes. I said, I've got it. He said, please come around and bring you a bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I went around, I didn't take the bag, but I bought that house. It was on the market for 32,000. I bought it for 20,000. Now here's the thing, and this is what I bought my good lady, a brand new BMW. She borrowed 10,000 pounds. Before she did this, here is something that all of you must realize. Out of the blue of my meditating and thinking and seeing success, a little white guy, you're dead right, a little small guy, he came with so fat. I've got to sit down, I don't want to fall over. <laughs> he came to me. He said, uh, here you are, Mr. Fraser. Here you are. I didn't understand. He said, you know what to do with them. When the time is right, you can pay me back. He gave me a check. I almost fell over. 10,000 pounds. I thought, you know, in my way. Here is a white guy. Won't tell me I was unsuitable for several years. Here is a white guy coming up to me, give me a check for 10,000 pounds. Right? That £10,000 I used, and I said to my good wife, right, my good lady at that time, please get for me another 10000 because she had the blacker than black name. In my language, that means the most beautiful name. You know, it's sort of very opposite for some people who think they say white and not white. I say blacker than black. It doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> you've just learned something new. She got <laughs> the £10,000 plus the 10000 from the little white guy, I offered £20,000 to this man. He grabbed it. He said, yes. Do you know what I did? A painting. I had a painting. And it's a little trick. And for that painting, I said, this is nothing to you, perhaps something to me. And that was my deposit. I bought the house for twenty grand, And he said, for the furnishings and the curtains, etc., just give me 500 20500 Within eight months, I had sold that house. I had £8,000 in my pocket, I moved them to have more than 15 properties, right? Uh, and everything went beautifully. Because I kept in seeing success in my mind. But here's what you don't do. Once I hit 
know, the status. I felt so important. I started, my God, if you were around me, I was just spending, because that was it. Freedom, I was just spending. And I stopped doing what I was accustomed to doing. Meditating and seeing further success. So please, 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 when you become a millionaire, multi-millionaire, or billionaire <laughs> later on, don't stop. Because if you do, what happened to me might also grab you. And it's dis distasteful. Yeah. Because right now I've got a big legal case going on. Because there's a bank. I mean, if I'm not careful, I could lose 1.8 million. And I've got my lawyers under the case. To some extent, because of the work run myself. But you're back on with the I might, I might actually say, throw it away and forget about that one point. There. Let them give them that because I've now started again to do my mind work. Ladies and gentlemen, please, 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 if you don't know how, buy that book. In that book, talk and grow it, you'll see S, S, S. Silence. Say it, stillness and solitude. solitude, all three. When you do that, something happens, I promise you, because now, including and my mastermind group, don't fall off, I've got three young children, I'm a bad old man, I've got a young wife. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and my, my, my group, my fantastic group, I have my three kids, can you believe that? Sitting around the table, we meditate, Right? With my three kids, and they give me ideas. And I can give you one thing. You know, here you are. Branding BMWs, more than 20,000 a year of private school for my kids. And here's an example. 2008, in private school, where they say, oh, don't do anything, no private, don't do private lessons, etc. Yeah, I was trained to teach as well. Those kids were not getting any A's at all in school. I looked at the the, peg, you know, the, the, the report. report. I said, this is crazy. And I said to them, do you want AIDS? Oh, yes, Dad. And they said, all right, now here's what you do. And they know about Ron Holland, if you talk to them, and, you know, Napoleon Hill and all that. I've got a library, thousands of books, yeah? Do you know what those kids did? I sat them down. They come straight from school. I said, right, sit down. And we meditate. First of all, relaxation. We relax. And you know, after last week they said, Dad, that was so wonderful just having the relaxation. We do that right now. We start it again. Yeah? From zero A's with that experiment. When I went to collect my boys outside this private school, one of them, his name is Robert Swell, actually, he said, Dad, I've done it. And he shot me, I promise you, as I'm standing here, I almost fell over in the street. I looked at the sheet and there was A's all over. Ten A's from one and the other one, H-A.